Good morning, County Attorney's Office. I am calling for the Grimes County Sheriff's Office Victim Services. Is this the right office? Uh, yes, sir. I can help you. Uh, is this is this Corey Mooney? It is. Oh, okay. Excellent. Yeah, I have a, a friend who's a, a, a victim of a crime. Her name is um, Melissa Barksdale. And I mean, you, your job is to help uh, crime victims, correct? I guess, sir, I can refer her to available agencies and uh, to the DA's office whenever the case gets filed. Well, sh she's she's actually in jail right now. Uh, she's a combat okay. veteran. She has a leg missing. And uh, she's a victim of the Grimes County Sheriff's Office. She was uh, arrested unlawfully for victimless crimes. Uh, I spoke to the bail bondsman recently who confirmed that she had uh, three charges against her felony possession of liquid marijuana, uh, class A misdemeanor uh, for unlawful carry of a weapon, and class B misdemeanor for possession of marijuana. Um, is, there, is there anything you can, you can tell me about her case? Uh, if she actually committed any crimes herself, or if, if these are uh, the only things that, that she is uh, alleged to have done that are victimless crimes? No. No. Um, our, our office is not involved in the investigation of crimes, and I don't have access to their records, and the sheriff's office can't release records concerning open investigations. So it sounds like you're wanting details of the offenses that she's alleged to have committed, uh, and that's something that can only be released to her attorney. Well, what what can you do? Well, there's there's some that, that are, are legally required to be public records, and I believe that's why the bondsman was able to share those charges with me. But if you can't help a, a victim of a, a crime that's, you know, where, where the stuff's pending, I mean, like, um, when do you get to help victims? Well, what crime are you alleging that she's a victim of? Well, she was arrested. Arrest? Yeah, she was she was arrested unlawfully for victimless crimes. That doesn't qualify her as a crime victim. So when Just because you believe she wasn't, um, she didn't commit those crimes, doesn't make her a crime victim. Oh, I'm not saying she didn't necessarily do those things that she's being accused of, but those are not crimes. Those are because there's no victim. You know, there's, if there's no victim, there's no crime. And in this That's case, not true, sir. The the penal statutes lay out many crimes if there's not a victim. Oh, so you can including drug uh, offenses. So you put people in jail when they don't have victims? Like if someone has has done something that like isn't hurting sir, anybody? I, sir, I have work to do. I'm not going to engage with you on the laws that are in effect in Texas. Well, so what happens when someone is falsely arrested? Do you, do you do anything to help them in victim services? No, sir. We work for law enforcement. If you think she's been falsely arrested, then you need to get her an attorney. Okay. Well, you're, I mean, you're, you're, if you guys arrest someone for a, a victimless crime and you, and you, you lock them up, you, you assault them, uh, and, and you, you, uh, kidnap them and you, and you lock them up in a, in a jail sir, cell that, sir. when, you when they haven't hurt that. anybody and they don't have any victims, <laughs> that would, that would make okay. them the victim, right? And that no, would mean, no, mm -mm. no. So you think no. it's so? Do you you support locking people up when when they haven't committed a, a crime? I support law enforcement enforcing the rules and the statutes of this state, even when they're morally wrong and an affront to God and an affront to to basic ethics. And you know, how it, is that an affront to God? Well, you know, in the Bible, are you are you a Christian, ma'am? It doesn't matter if I'm a Christian or not. Well, of course not, but. Uh, in, in in the Bible, it says that, uh, you know, I've given you all the herb-bearing seeds and uh, uh, plants and seeds to use. All right, and sir. Right you now, have a great day. You've arrested okay? someone who's a you combat can... veteran who has a prosthetic leg who treats her injuries from combat. With illegal substances. Well, what I you're mean, saying. So you're not helping her case, have... by the way, is giving her an excuse to commit crimes. If you want to help her, well, your, no victim, your time no would be better spent contacting her, getting her an attorney to represent her and to explain this when she goes to court. Right, but in, in this case, it's it's the sheriff's office who are the criminals. 